This is Marty Howe and Jack Sugden of the Web Conferencing Store reviewing Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro. Before we launch the meeting module for Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro, the host logs into the back end through a web browser. Now we see a lot of options here and this is because Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro is very versatile for many web conferencing solutions such as small meetings with one or several hosts collaborating together large web seminars and even live virtual classrooms. So from here we can create and schedule meetings and events. We have a calendar for that purpose. Um, we can set up our teleconferencing options and decide on access options for users. In our content area we can upload content for meetings which include PowerPoint, Flash, Video, Swift files, PDFs, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, MP3s, HTMLs, etc. We can also create separate rooms for with specific content for meetings or curriculum for training in virtual classrooms. We also have a reporting area here which is very uh, useful and we can set up reports for our content, courses, curriculum, virtual classrooms such as questions and response details, attendee and enrollment rosters, objectives and progress, etc. So in our uh, meeting room, when we set up our meeting, one thing that's really quite advantageous is that we can set up a custom persistent URL URL for each of our meetings and the advantage of this is that it'll always be available with dynamically updated content. So let's click on the link and take a look at the interface. So now we see the Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro meeting module or control panel interface. The interface is Flash based so most users won't have to download any plugins as Flash is already installed in 98% of browsers. As it is Flash based and uploaded content is adapted for the Flash environment, you'll find that using the interface such as screen sharing is quite fast. You can also custom brand the interface with your own logo and color schemes. Now all these windows that you see are called pods and we'll have a closer look at all of these. Just I want to show you the layout feature. So just clicking on that menu item up top here, you see that this is sharing. We can go to a different uh, layout and you see how quickly it changes. And these, uh, this is called discussion, there's uh, collaboration, and you can create your own custom layout very simply. Um, uh, and just choose which pods are appropriate and most useful for the meeting that you're having, and then you can switch between these different layouts. So it's very, very useful. And as far as uh, options for pods, we have the share pod, and we'll explain all these in more detail, attendee list, camera and voice, chat, note, poll, file share, web links, Q&A, breakout pods, and um, very useful. Um, but before we go into each one of the pods, I'm going to show you the meeting um, menu there. We can uh, change our some of our meeting um, options up top here. We can manage it access and entry, inviting participants, blocking participants, etc., creating breakout rooms, recording the meeting, which can be very useful if we're creating training or um, uh, some kind of curriculum or maybe having an archive of a meeting that attendees can review later on, that kind of thing. Uh, we can set our room preferences and appearance, the bandwidth, the screen sharing, the screen resolution, room background, we have a little bit of branding there. Uh, with our colors and logo. We can uh, set the connection speed and there's other options for uh, audio and etc. And we can end and exit the meeting through that option. So let's look at some of the uh, different pods here. So this is the attendee pod, this one right here. And in the attendee pod we can actually assign or the host can assign each participant either as a participant, a presenter or a host. And each role has a different level of permission. The participant can only use uh, internal chat. You can see everything else. Presenter can uh, screen share and use PowerPoint. And the host can control everything and change the layout, etc. Another um, aspect of the attendee pod is the status of the uh, uh, participant. He can, you know, 
use uh, lower or raise his hand or agree or whatever ask to speed up the presentation and that can be very useful um, so camera and voice we can uh, let me just uh, get on camera here for a sec um, we can expand the camera to be full screen and uh, minimize it again just to be within the pod actually it says Jack there I'm Marty Howe but I'm using Jack's login name when Jack comes on you'll see him and um, so we can manage the video options in this pod right here um, the note pod we can add information that only the uh, host can can enter there but can be seen by everybody uh, we have a web links pod which is very useful we can store some web links before the meeting and then when we highlight them and click on browse to that every participant in the meeting will all of a sudden have their browser launched and go to that website so that can be very uh, useful during the meeting um, we have a file share pod which is different from the share pod it's uh, in that you can upload a file um, to the um, to all the participants of the of the meeting and then they would download that file onto their computer and and they would be able to open up that file with the, their appropriate application uh, so that's a little different than the share pod which will open up the uh, file um, within the Adobe environment and I'll demonstrate that right now and then I'll uh, invite Jack to uh, uh, further demonstrate that but there's one more pod I want to show you before we get to that and that is the polling pod now we don't have that shown here but you can call any poll any pod up uh, with any interface that you have and so here's the um, here's an example of that so we can um, create a poll in advance and then and have it in during the meeting and open and close it when we wish so that's quite useful so let's go to the share pod now it's quite uh, powerful in that we can um, we can share the com our computer screen we can either share our uh, desktop or applications we choose the application that we want to share and then we can actually give control over to other uh, hosts and we'll, we'll demonstrate that in a sec we can also share documents that we've uploaded to our library such as JPEGs or PowerPoints or PDFs and flash movies or you can select from your computer all these are already in the library or we can choose the whiteboard and all the annotation tools the, and we'll actually show the whiteboard in context of uh, some of the other presentations like we can bring up the PowerPoint uh, or a JPEG or whatever and then we can um, have the uh, whiteboard annotation tools um, overlaid on top of that and everyone will see those um, those uh, tools being used so now I'm going to invite Jack to uh, demonstrate uh, the question and answer in the chat and also aspects of the application share and the PowerPoint okay so Marty has given me control of the PowerPoint presentation you see that in front of you right now webconferencestore.com and allows me to push the slides through as we conduct the meeting I'm going to push the second slide right now and now what I'm going to use is an annotation tool to help hide points I want to make. So if I'm making points, we're going to bring it out to a large screen so everyone can see it more clearly. And now I'm going to use the, the pointers here as I go through the presentation. As the annotation tools you use, like markers, you can use markers, you can use kinds of different tools that you see on a whiteboard. Now I want to go to the chat and Q&A session. That's available all throughout the meeting, and anyone can ask a question directly to the presenter or to everyone. Uh, and Martin just asked me a question. I'm going to respond to that, and there you go. I'm going to make it available to everybody you can see up there in the chat Q&A section. The other cool feature I want to show you is the breakout room. Breakout rooms are uh, a valuable feature to allow you to break into smaller groups, uh, have your own meeting, come back into the, the larger group again, and the presenter has control of that and bring people in and out of the meeting to sign who's going to be in what breakout room. The last feature is the share feature. This is a real important one because it allows you to take an application from your desktop and share it with everybody. I'm going to click here. You see on my computer screen. Okay, now you see a Word doc show up, uh, webconferencestore.com. It's a Word doc I was working on today. And uh, now it's sitting on the Adobe uh, environment which allows anyone to come in 
and work on it with me to edit it and make changes. So that's a kind of an overview of all the features of uh, Adobe Connect Pro. Thank you for joining us at webconferencingstore.com.